Cosmetic.com Studios. And I am so glad that you're here for your holiday week. We're gonna start out right, and we're gonna work some arms today. This is part two of my four series. Last time was abs, this is arms, next week legs, and the week after that dance cardio. So keep tuning in. And if you missed this one live, you can always find all of our videos at the, in the video library on the homepage. So today I'm gonna do some weights. Um, if you have any weights, go ahead and grab them. Um, you can be between two and five pounds, five pounds if you're feeling ambitious, I'm using two. Um, and, or if you don't have any weights, you can use a water bottle or some cans of peas or something. Just be really careful, nothing breakable. All right, so we're gonna warm up, put the weights aside for a second, come to a parallel position. We're gonna do some head circles. So the head goes down, and then to the left, and then back, and right. Once more, again, try to hit every spot in the neck. Try to relax the shoulders as you're doing it. And reverse, other side, go to the right. And back, and left, and forward once again. Really big circle, every point along that circle. Nice. And then we're gonna do some shoulder rolls. So soften the knees and go up and back. Full range of motions with those shoulders. Really go for it. This is like waking that up the shoulder joint and the back and your whole body here. So plie straighten. Nice big circles. Two more back. Last one. Reverse that circle. Go far back and then all the way forward. I'm using a little bit of my back and my stomach muscles to do full range of motion. Keep the knees soft. Bend and straighten. Get that blood flowing. Forward, I know it's Monday. I appreciate you being here and working out with me. So a couple more. Two, and one. Full circle. Up and back, and two. Again, keep the knees nice and soft. Plie and straighten, get those ankle joints going too. And back, and back. Wide, wide circle, two more. Two, last one. And then reverse that circle. Back and forward, really go for it. Reach as far back as you possibly can and then towards me. Really circle that arm in the joint. Two more, last one. And now we're gonna just swim back. So do left to right, really think backstroke. Get the sides of the body going, really full range of motion, fingertips all the way up and back. Four, three, Two, one, switch that and come on forward towards me. Now we're doing front stroke, breast stroke. Really circle them. Twist back and forth with the upper body. Nice straight arms, reach those fingertips towards me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last warm up. Take a second position, slightly turned out. Watch that the knees go over the toes. Doesn't have to be really turned out, but nice and wide position. So plie, and then come up onto your toes as the arms reach up. And then down deep plie, and then high, high, high releve. So get those calves going. Up, straight legs, high releve. Plie, and up. Show me levels. Get down plie, and high releve. Two more. Plie down. Last one. Plie, and up. Nice, all right, grab your weights. Here we go. Back to parallel, hip width apart, soft knees. Elbows to the rib cages. Make a beautiful 90 degrees, please. Palms facing each other, and you're gonna hinge open. So open, and back, and open, and back. This gets, there's lats back there. Here, I'll show you. You should be able to see my lats moving and engaged the whole time so I open and close. This is great for the rotator cuff. Keep the stomach held the whole time. Make sure you're nice and parallel. A couple more. Now add the bicep curl. So switch the palms to face up and come up to the bicep and then out. So this is a slightly different position. Now we have the palms facing the ceiling, yet you're still in that 90 degrees at the, at the elbow. So from the side, it looks like this. Holding the stomach, nice straight line. Don't lean forward, don't arch the back. Right, stomach, stomach, stomach. Out, and up, and out, 
and up. Check if you're having any tension in that shoulders and the neck. Nothing there. All in the stomach, all in the arms. Couple more, almost there. Up and out and up and out. All right, nice. And we're gonna switch. So stop here at that 90 degrees. You're gonna take the elbows up to the side. Get the deltoids and back down and up and down. Allow the palms to rotate. You don't have to keep them facing up. They should come to the side facing each other and then back to the ceiling. So this is really about your deltoids. Keep that 90 degree angle. This is something different, right? So 90 degrees up and down and up and down. Now we can alternate. So when you come up, back down, add the bicep curl. Bicep curl, down. And deltoids and biceps and deltoids and biceps. Check in again, are you holding your stomach? Are you nice and parallel? Are your knees locked? Make sure that they're soft, that you're holding your stomach and all the tension there and not in your legs. A couple more. Keep breathing. Relax the neck and shoulders. Last one. And switch. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of a combination. So come on and bring those those uh, weights right in front of your chest. You're gonna go straight up to the ceiling, the palms face me, and then back to that same starting position. Then go straight out to the side, deltoids, and back in. And then straight down to the ceiling, I'm using my lats, squeeze, and back in. And side, and in. So the combination is up, and in, and side, and in, straight down, and in and side. One more time like this. Don't lean forward in any of it. My back is completely straight, my stomach is held, and it's just an isolation of the arm movement. Side and here. Last time, get really comfortable with this move because I'm now gonna add an agility move, which includes the brain. So not just blindly wait, watching me and following along, but we're going to add a little bit of a, a mind mess. Okay, so come back to starting position. Your right arm's gonna go up, and then your left arm's gonna follow the second time as you go side. And then as you come back in, it goes down and side. So your second arm is always slightly behind. It's at the position before. So you can think about one arm at a time, or you can think about both arms. Whichever makes you work each side of the body separately. This is really a test of the mind, right? Can you coordinate each arm separately? Each side of the body is just as important. Last time, how you doing? Go slow. I'd rather you go slow and not screw up and not punch yourself in the face with your weights than come along with me. Last time, side and and down, almost there. Last one, and done. How'd you do? <laughs> okay, moving on. So come into a nice plie second. So knees over the toes, hip width apart. Nice plie, bring those arms out to the side. You're gonna swir in the C, in an S position. So this arm is up, this face is the down position. And then switch. Stay low in your plie and keep switching. This is an amazing deltoid exercise. So try not to lean forward. Try not to arch the back. The stomach is held the whole time. I'm squeezing my butt to maintain my turnout in my low plie. A couple more. Keep breathing. Check. Neck and shoulders relax. Okay, great. Am I breathing? Okay, great. A couple more switches. Don't let it droop. Stay up there. Keep those elbows right from the shoulders, straight out to the side. A couple more, five, and four, and three, two, one. Nice, come out of that plie. Okay, we're gonna do one at a time. So you can put one weight down to the side. We're gonna do triceps. And turn to the side so that you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna lunge forward. And so I'm in a calf stretch. A little hip and calf stretch, nice and parallel. I'm gonna take my weight in my left arm. I'm gonna lean forward slightly so I have a straight diagonal from the shoulders to the heel. Lift that arm to the back, freeze it there. That's your height, come back to it every time. And then bend and straight. 
This, of course, is your traditional tricep exercise. But what's really important here is that you're getting a calf stretch too, and a, half, a hip stretch, your hip flexor right there. And you're getting your tricep. Make sure you get all the way to straight. Don't lock it, don't push it there or jerk it. It's a really soft, squeezed mo uh, motion. Squeeze and relax and squeeze and relax. Almost there. Don't lean too far forward. This is a different exercise. Right, kind of straight line from shoulder to heel. Five and uh, four and three and two. Last one. And relax. Nice. Switch the weight to the other side. Other lunge. So bring that other foot forward. Get that calf stretch. Heel towards the floor, please. Nice straight leg. Relax the hip flexor. Put that weight in the right arm. Reach all the way up. Nice straight line. That's your height. Don't move it. In and up. And in and up. And in and up. Keep breathing. In and up. My straight line from my head to my heel. I'm getting that calf stretch going. I'm getting that hip flexor stretch. And I'm working the tricep. Again, don't jerk the weight. Smooth movement. Straighten and bend. And straighten and bend. Almost there, keep breathing. This is a nice isolation for that tricep. So really get it completely straight. If it doesn't go completely straight, then you're not getting the full range of motion and the full benefit to the exercise. Almost there. Five and a four. And three, two, one. Nicely done. All right, done with the weights. Hope that was okay. We're gonna now go to planks and push-ups. So stick with me. We're gonna go down to the ground. And you're gonna start with a push-up that's in a position right in front of your chest, like this. So you can put your fingers and your palms together in a beautiful triangle. And I'm gonna put it right under my, my chest. Come up into a beautiful plank parallel, feet hip width apart, and push up. Down and up. Down and up. Because of the extreme angle of the, of the wrists in this position, you may not go very far. Your push up may not be very deep, but you're still getting the tricep and the pecs workout here. If this hurts your wrists, do slightly less of an angle. You can do a little farther forward like this. Make sure to protect your wrists is more important than doing the push-ups incorrectly. Keep breathing. A couple more. Really nice job. Hold that stomach. Squeeze that butt. Three. And a two. And one. Nice. Put those hands down. Shake those wrists out really nice. So I'm going to move on to a plank position. And my wrists are going to be right under my shoulders, the traditional plank, stomach held. And then I'm going to go into what's called a coupe position in the back, which means that you're using your glutes to maintain your turnout. That heel goes to my ankle. I'll show you what I mean. Come up into plank. Take that leg, turn it out. Put that ankle bone against the calf. Just place it there. Do not like hang out there. Place it there. Fire up that leg. And then you're going to come forward and up back and forward and back this is not a huge movement right it's small i'm only going forward a couple of inches and back my weight goes over the wrists and then back and over and back fire up those arms make sure that they're really straight and that you're not moving the hips in any way that that glute is held and you're maintaining your turn out in that coupe back there a couple more seconds ten nine eight seven Six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a second, switch. You can shake those arms out and those wrists. I know planks can be a lot on the wrists, so take the break if you need it. Shake them out and come back in. Other side, up into plank, squeeze that glute into the coupe position. Forward and back, forward and back. Make sure that you're not resting that foot on that calf. That's not using the glute. Keep that engaged the whole time. Keep that leg really straight back there. That's your left, keep it straight. And back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nicely done. 
Arms down, shake if you need to. Awesome. We're gonna switch to some Spider-Man push-ups, also known as oblique push-ups. So these are the wide push-ups. So the, the arms are wider than your shoulders. The wrists are in level with the shoulders, but wide. And you're gonna use your pecs to do push-ups. You're gonna take the leg up and back to the elbow. Show you what I mean. We're gonna do a couple, stay with me. So, starting wide position. Plie, bring that leg up, push up. That knee comes to my elbow and back. Elbow and back. Keep breathing. Try to make it a smooth movement. No butts in the air, that's something completely different. Squeeze that glute, keep it down. Even when you take that foot off the floor. Couple more, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Awesome. Those are hard because they include the obliques. And it's just one leg that's back there. Nicely done. Switch to the triceps. So come on, take a seat to your butt. I'm gonna face this way for you. So, fingers facing towards my butt. Now this weird thing with the wrists. Really make sure that you place your hands correctly when you go into it. Feet flat on the floor, nice and parallel. Hip width apart, take that butt off the floor. We're gonna do eight traditional here. Eight, and seven, and six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, pick up that foot closest to me. Place gently that ankle on that knee. One, two, three, Four, try not to rest it there. Six, seven, and eight. Nicely done. Last set on this one. Take that other foot, cross it. Keep that butt up, don't let it hang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice, so we're gonna do that whole set one more time. Much quicker this time because I don't have to explain it. But make sure that you're getting that arm all the way straight so that you get full range of motion and that entire tricep activation. And a one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nicely done. One leg and one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And switch. One, and two, three. Straight arms. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nice. All right, shake those arms and wrists out. Very nice. Again, triceps can be a lot on the wrists, so make sure you do some circles to shake those out. Very last thing I have for you, downward dog arabesque. So you're gonna go into a downward dog, which is an arm exercise. So push those palms away, straight arms as you possibly can get up. Go into that downward dog for me. Make sure those wrists are shoulder width apart, not too far apart. Nice and parallel in the back there. Nice straight legs, push that butt to the ceiling. Then, taking that leg closest to me, lift it all the way up. Get into your best. If this is your height, fantastic. You can allow it to turn out a little bit. If this is where you are, great. Keep that arm fired up, keep that weight going. Stay, stay, stay there. This is about holding this pose right here. Hold the stomach, get the stretch, Allow it to relax there. Push those arms, keep those engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Stay in your downward dog. Take a deep breath there. And relax. Last one, other side. The leg farthest from me. Pull, reach that toe all the way to the back wall and lift up to the ceiling. Push away from the palms. Keep that downward dog going. Get that stretch on the bottom leg. Holding. Breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lovely. Come on down. Very nice job today. I hope that your arms are exhausted as mine are. <laughs> that was the whole plan. Let's do a quick stretch. So sitting on your butt, you can sit whichever is comfortable. If you want to sit cross-legged or straight, whatever is nice for you. I'm going to sit cross-legged. Take that arm, cross across your body. Lightly pull it towards your chest with the opposite arm. Breathe and relax here. 
Really nice job. It's a great way to start your week out with focusing on one part of the body. In this case, the arms. Then maybe tomorrow, do the legs and alternate. That means you get the full body and keep yourself entertained. Switch. What is often a determinant in terms of exercise is that you get bored. You end up doing the same thing all the time. So hopefully a couple of these exercises you'll remember, you'll like, and you'll incorporate them into your own exercises. Last stretch, arm goes up behind the head. Grab the other elbow. Breathe. Relax that neck and shoulders. Stretch out that tricep. We worked them a lot today. Very last stretch. Grab the other elbow. Relax. Try not to hold any tension in the neck and shoulders here. All right, nicely done. Have an incredible holiday week. And please, if you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to me under the video at kinetic.com or on my website, arielshepley.com. Enjoy your holidays and have a good week. Bye. I hope you enjoyed my class. If you're in the mood for more, check out these videos.